One weekend, he wanted to do the songs, and Nigel had worked with him, but he wanted to work off, I think he was working off an A-track or something that he just had at home. And he said, give me the scenes, give me lots of artwork, give me sort of some rough guidelines of what the song needs to be, and let me have a go. So basically, like, we printed out large pieces of the artwork from the books. We gave him all the storyboards for the sequences on boards. I gave him a list of how many songs I needed. And over a weekend, at the end of the weekend, Nigel called me and said, oh, beck has got something for us. And it was like a CDR with, like, 22 songs on it. <laughs> And basically the songs are like done in a rough form. Maybe it's on a four track actually. They're done in a rough form. He gave us versions without the vocals because the actors ended up singing on top, you know, replacing his vocals. On the album you can get the Beck versions too. But we never got him to re-record anything because they sounded so raw and garagey um, that it just seemed right. And even in, in the music that's in the opening credits has, was very difficult for the actors to mime along with because there were lots of fluffs on it you know they were sort of just kind of jamming and improvising but it sounded so real mm -hmm. it just sounded like we should use that and not get him to do any overdubs and so what he did on his four track that weekend is what's in the movie